it goes, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Have you ever lost to, like, an eight-year-old? It was, like, very sad. Seven-year-old. Oh. Indian. To be fair, he was fucking brilliant. Like, he almost beat a national master at that tournament. So I'm not upset that I lost, because I didn't stand a chance. Uh. But it is weird losing to someone whose hand fits in your palm. Yeah. That is an odd thing, because you have to handshake at the beginning of the game. Literally, I had to, like, contort my hand so that we could actually shake hands. <laughs> it took his entire hand to cigar on my palm. It was hilarious. And then I lost, and I was just like, okay. He was Chinese, so it kind of makes sense. Did you not handshake? No, it's, it's, it's in the rules. Oh. Well, damn. Like, you literally have to. And also, it's just considered really disrespectful to not. There are many silent chess etiquettes. Yeah. Not many of them I found out the hard way. Yeah, I beat it. Nice. You sound you should truly kill yourself. Moon pulse. How hard is it? It's like, I don't know, a little harder than Bloodbath. It's pretty it similar to Advent, hard. actually. It's a good, it's a good... So it's impossible. Cool. Sure. Oh yeah, just remember, didn't like, some GM get disqualified for not shaking hands? Was it Magnus being salty? Mm, no. Okay. Magnus has never been disqualified from a game for that. Um, there were two, uh, I think it was, Car um, No way! Anatoly Karpov and Veselin Topalov refused to shake hands. Oh. Uh, no, what are we no, no way Topalov and Kramnik, it was Topalov I beat, I beat uh, that, I beat that on exactly my 4,000th attempt. But that's because, I think it was in 1999, there was a con- uh, they got into a controversy where one of them, they essentially both accused each other of cheating the whole match. One of which involved uh, hiding a computer in the toilet. <laughs> huh, wow, that's that's cool. I beat that on exactly. It, it was it was completely. It was like almost.